This is CPM Calculus, Chapter 4, Number 25. So here we're given a picture of it, but a cone has a height of 10 inches. So we see the height is 10 inches here, and a radius of 4 inches. So the radius here is 4 inches. If a plane cuts the cone at 8 inches above the base of the cone. So here's 8 inch h, excuse me, h inches above the base of the cone, we have a plane here cutting it. So we have a big plane, just like a flat surface, like a piece of paper, slices the cone right here, okay? Okay, write an expression for the area of the circular cross-section, all right? So we know that the area of this cross-section, well, that's just a circle. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. So all we need to know is the radius of this circle, and we're done. Because if we know r, we got the area of the cross-section. Okay, so before we jump into knowing that like the volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared h, we don't need this for this problem. All we need to look at is we see we have a triangle here, right, and a triangle here. And if you remember from geometry, these are similar triangles. Similar, similar, well, similar triangles, right? So similar triangles must have the property that the ratio of the sides is equal. The ratios of the sides are equal. The ratios of the sides are equal. Okay? So what that's saying is this triangle up here, we know there's a triangle up here, right? And also a triangle right here. Well, right? These are similar triangles, right? That means the ratio. So we know this one has a base here of 4 and a height of 10, right? The right triangle. This one, well, what is the height of this triangle? Well, we know this is just the total 10 minus h. So this is 10 minus h. And we don't know this side. Let's just call it, I don't know, r, because r is this length, okay? So we the ratio means basically r is this base r divided by 4 equals this side divided by this side 10 minus h divided by 10 so this is what similar triangles allows us to do the ratio of one side to the corresponding other side right the base of this triangle divided by the base of this triangle is equal to the height of this triangle divided by the height of this triangle so we can go ahead and solve this expression for r, right? If we multiply 4 to both sides, these cancel out, and we're left with r is equal to 10 minus h in parentheses, because this would have to distribute times 4 over 10. And we can simplify this, divide 4 by 2, divide 10 by 2, so this is 10 minus h times 2 over 5. So that's r. r is given now to us here, so we can plug it in. So area is then equal to pi times r. r we know, we know is 10 minus h times 2 divided by 5 squared. Right, I'm just plugging in r over here. This is equal to pi. Now we're just simplifying this. Squaring these, we know the square goes to every term. So it's 10 minus h squared times 2 squared over 5 squared. Simplifying that, well, 2 times 2 is 4. And I can put that in the front. So it's 4 pi, okay, because remember that's over 1, times 10 minus h squared. 5 squared is 25, okay? So that is the area of that um, circle that is cut right here. So this, this circle right here 
as the area 4 pi times 10 minus h squared divided by 25. And we know area is units squared. Okay? So that's how you do this problem. And um, one interesting thing to note is we do not need to know the volume formula for the cone because we can just see these are similar triangles, right? And that means the ratios of all the sides are equal. We could find the radius from that. All right. So this is the end of CPM Calculus Chapter 4, Number 25.